Spring of 1985, the shores of Spirit Lake. A mountain named St. Helen slowly started to awake. At first, it trembled in the ground, and then a cloud of steam. People, they all gathered round to see what it might be. Now, by the lake, there lived a man, Harry Truman, they all say. He lived there 40 years and 10, still there to this day. The man and the mountain, the mountain and the man, lived together side by side upon the land. Now all who lived nearby the mountain, they were told to go. To safer ground where they might save their lives if it should blow. But Harry Truman, he refused to leave his lodge and land. Why he wished to stay there, they could not understand. The mountain, it began to shake and it began to heat. If the mountain blows, then I don't mind. I'm not about to of St. Helens in the lake was clear to see her beauty and her grandeur and her creatures running free in the shadow of the mountain there he lived from day to day as near to heaven he would get that's what he used to say so closely bonded to that mountain he could never go his life entwined about the land he came to long ago. The man and the mountain, the mountain and the man, lived together side by side upon the land. Now early in the morning, on the 18th day of May, St. Helen, she began to shake, she began to sway. From deep within a mighty roar, a rumble and a quake, and soon the ash and dust was raining down on Spirit Lake. Upon the lodge where Harry lived, the rock and mud came down, covering the lake he loved and all the land of the man and the mountain, the mountain and the man Live together side by side upon the land The man and the mountain, the mountain and the man Live together side by side Harry Truman, he is gone, but his spirit lingers on. For we can truly say, the man and mountain, they are one. Yes, we can truly say, the man and mountain, they are one. Spring of 1985, the shores of Spirit Lake. A mountain named St. Helen slowly started to awake. At first it trembled in the ground, and then a cloud of steam. People, they all gathered round to see what it might be. Now by the lake there lived a man, Harry Truman, they all say. He lived there 40 years and 10, still there to this day.